Hey guys, uh, today I have some of my Hoyas in bloom and peduncle. I just wanted to show you and uh, talk about them a little bit. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, I have this beautiful uh, Hoya Multiflora in bloom. As you can see, the blooms are so beautiful. It's called Multiflora or Shooting Star Hoya. This is actually a cutting I got from my mother plant and it has been blooming uh, for the first time this year. But as we know, as we all know, once they start blooming, they will never stop. So that's my experience with multiflora, but they need sun. I tell you, um, because um, I have actually the mother plant near me, I can show you. Since I put her into a, a little bit darker corner, I didn't have space for it. This is the mother plant of that. Since I had it in a uh, darker corner, it hasn't started blooming. But once it was in the... And you see this peduncle? It was always producing uh, bloom before but since I uh, put it in a, in a darker corner for a month or so it hasn't started blooming yet so I have to move it if you want to get bloom you have to keep your multiflora in a north facing or south facing both of them will uh, do the trick and they don't need that much of a sun. They can still bloom in um, a country where there is like less sun, such as UK. That I live in UK, so you can uh, bloom them easily uh, in your windowsill. Multiflora, Hoya multiflora. Um, it's very easy to care and very easy to bloom. It just needs sun. As you can see with the example of these two, this was sitting in my south facing window and this has been always in bloom except the, the last two months that I've kept it in a darker corner and it hasn't bloomed but they usually bloom at this time of year which is July. I mean multiflora is always blooming even in winter time as long as it receives sunshine and warmth actually if it's cold they they drop the uh, peduncles and the the buds um, but uh, they need sunshine to flower so that's the first way i wanted to talk about um next one um is my kroniana oh i think this one <laughs> <laughs> it's just drop all of the blooms okay so this was in bloom and that peduncle and also this one oh and this one is bloom <laughs> dropped as well okay so as you can see it's all dropped on my table okay you can't see it now now that's okay um yeah i was gonna tell you these have passed their prime time but I just wanted to show you how they, the bloom look like and the peduncle but they are floriferous as well and they, they bloom a lot as well but I love the uh, leaves nevertheless I enjoy the leaf I was going to tell you that the bloom smells very pungent and strong I don't like it I keep it in my bathroom when it blooms but other than that I really enjoy the leaves really nice silvery leaf and the shape of them new growth I love everything about it as you can see it's very very beautiful Hoya Croniana Super Skewer and, and these are actually uh, the blooms 
that are just full of okay next I'm going to show you um, this Hoya which I've had it for a few years I think at least four years I had it okay so this have come to me unrooted as an unrooted um, cutting and it's called Hoya Verticillata and Hoya Verticillata has been grown since I think 2018 as I said it's four years it's been growing very well but never bloomed for me and until just recently if you can see these peduncles they haven't opened yet but I can't wait to see them open and smell the, the fragrance or if they have fragrance good or bad because nowadays I'm interested in uh, Hoyas that are um, blooming with nice fragrance and if the Hoya doesn't have a beautiful leaf um, you know at least has to have nice fragrance um, so I can't wait to smell these but as I said this is the first time budding up for me so and it's been in the end of these two long peduncle as you can see there is very long peduncle I can't even yeah, I don't know if you can see it the whole plant I have to like <laughs> bend it down to see okay so these these are the peduncles that are just produced and I have to tell you this has taken a long time uh, to uh, since it's it appeared and since uh, growing I mean growing phase of it is not too long uh, but it has I don't know I wonder why it's not opening but maybe maybe very close within a few days if by the time of uh, me posting this um, video they they've opened I'll, I'll add them at the end of this video anyway I like I like the leaves as well leaves are beautiful as well if you can see the leaf has beautiful pattern in it and it's very hard uh, and succulent looking leaf but this peduncle really surprised me and I can't wait to uh, see the bloom and smell the fragrance. Hopefully they smell good. <laughs> uh, next I have my Hoya uh, Kalimantan. I think it's called Kalimantan. Yeah, Kalimantan. Um, it has a peduncle up there. I don't know if you can see it. It's here. Uh, okay, now you can see it. It's there. But that peduncle um, was open a few days ago. Now it's closed. I don't know if it's gonna open again or it's done blooming for me. So I'm not sure. I think probably it's not going to open again but anyway it is been blooming on and off for me and there is one more peduncle producing down there here and um, yeah I can't wait to see it, it bloom and this uh, Hoya has nicely fragrant uh, blooms so this Hoya Clement not only has beautiful leaves as you can see I love the leaves and I've uh, that was the reason I've collected it in first place but also has beautiful um, fragrant bloom but unfortunately it's closed now I can't show you 
but here we go at the moment I have these four um, Hoyas and Bloom and Pedunco I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give uh, this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already uh, for more updates such as these thank you very much for watching bye Hi all, this is a few days later after I filmed the first part. I uh, just wanted to show you that the um, buds have opened now on my Hoya Verticillata. And it's so um, nice smell. Uh, it smells like jasmine. Really nice, beautiful smell. I really like it. Look at the beautiful blooms. It's just opened. I think this morning it opened. I just wanted to show you. So there's two peduncle in two different um, branch. I don't want to break it. Okay. So, yeah. Just wanted to show you the beautiful blooms of this Hoya Verticillata. And as I said, it's really wonderful fragrance. Jasmine, sweet jasmine. Sometimes you get um, very like a bitter jasmine -y, um, fragrance. It's not like that. It's very, very sweet and nice. So yeah, I really like the smell of this Hoya. And yeah, I really recommend it. Uh, I mean, it's worth um, waiting for this Hoya to bloom. As I said, I had it for four years now. It's the first time it's blooming this year. So I'm really glad that it's really nice smelling and beautiful blooms. And um, yeah, I really recommend this Hoya too, um, for, for, for you. Okay, thank you very much for watching and yeah, I just wanted to add this one and have a lovely evening. Bye. <coughs> I just wanted to add this little beauty. This is Bloom uh, of my... Um, Hoya Densifolia. It's just uh, opened up two days ago and it looks really beautiful and smell. It has a, a tiny bit of a smell but not too strong. Uh, no, I can't smell anything at the moment. Uh, but I have this Hoya for four years now. It's grown a lot and a lot of uh, leaves uh, as you can see but it never bloomed for me but suddenly I saw the peduncle and it was nearly opening when I saw it so it was a surprise for me and there is another peduncle uh, produced here so I'm looking forward to that as well beautiful Hoya just wanted to add this newly bloomed <coughs> Hoya oh, if I don't break it <laughs> uh, to my Hoya blooms video thank you very much for watching